Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to wash a dirt bike. In fact, we're going to foam this guy. This is a 2009 KTM 300 XCW, and I don't want anybody saying that it's not dirty enough. Okay, this is muddy. You're going to have to excuse the wind, but um, I'm going to show you how to clean a dirt bike. If you don't care about dirt bikes, well, you can shut the video off. It'll be kind of fun. This is something new. I hesitated to do it. Didn't think anybody would care, but hey, it's a dirty vehicle, and this channel is all about vehicles, not necessarily cars. I'm going to show you how to do this properly. Um, so, the very first thing that you want to do if you're cleaning a dirt bike or a motorcycle and you're going to do the foaming is we want to make sure that we don't get any water in the exhaust so i'm going to put an exhaust plug in there that's designed for that next that's all it is is it's a rubber piece that just goes in right there now one thing that i want to caution you when you're cleaning motorcycles is i never use a pressure washer to do this i'm just going to use the pressure washer to foam it i'm going to use the regular amount of pressure coming out of the hose to actually wash and rinse the bike so let's foam it up all right so there's nothing special i just grabbed some armor all car wash and i've got about i don't know 20 ounces of water and a couple three or four ounces of the soap this really is not so important it's the actual detailing this is not going to be a soap review but uh, this is how we do it This is probably the worst possible wind you could do this foam in. It's about 30 miles an hour. But anyway, that's what we've got. I just soaked the entire thing. I'm going to let it dwell. And I'm going to use some simple green and clean the seat first. All right, so I'm just going to take my stiff wheel wheel brush i'm going to spray some simple green now simple green the reason i use this is because it's the only thing that'll get the staining from the dirt off of the seat without harming the seat okay i don't let it dwell very long i just let it basically spray it on and Wipe it off, or scrub it off. Okay. Now, 
The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off and I'm not going to do it with the pressure washer because it's too much pressure. You can harm the bearings. Just regular pressure. So at this point, all I'm trying to do is remove the soap and some of the dirt that has been uh, loosened. So some of the places in the nooks and crannies have dirt that is kind of baked on. If that's the case, then you can use a nozzle on the hose, which is what I do, to knock some of the more caked on mud, especially up under the fenders. So after you remove the bulk of the soap and mud, I'm going to reposition the bike on the stand so we can clean the chain and get everything else soaped up. All right, so. After the bike has been thoroughly rinsed, we're going to take some simple green and just spray it on the chain. And then I've got a chain brush here that's got brushes on all three sides. It's four chains. I'm just going to... All I'm trying to do is knock the mud or dirt that's on here off. There's not much left. Okay. And then we'll rinse. Now I clean the bike and the chain every time I ride it. I never put it up dirty. Okay. Next, I've got the rat's tail brush that I've used in my wheel cleaning videos and works perfectly for motorcycle wheels then I'll go in and clean the hub this brush makes it so easy to do what I'm doing and get the swing arm
And this is soft enough where it's not gonna scratch the plastic. It's very easy to get down in the nooks and crannies. Get up under where the fenders are. It's real good around in the engine area because you can work the brush in there. I'm basically just trying to get the mud and the staining off. I mean, obviously this is an off-road machine, so every time it goes off-road, it's going to get muddy. But if you don't get it off, the mud can hold moisture and the moisture can start rusting and degrading the parts. And I'll do the same thing on the front. Go through the spokes. Okay, then I'll just rinse.
All right. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be blowing the bike off with a leaf blower to help dry it. So once you get the, uh, the bike soaked and rinsed down and dried, put it away. It's much, much, much nicer. It's not, again, it's, it's a dirt bike, but certainly um, it's a much cleaner dirt bike now. Anyway, so if you guys have any uh, experience with your own dirt bikes or maybe some that you have foamed up, cleaned, detailed, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, the only other thing that I do, aside from uh, what I've done, is about 24 hours after the chain has dried, I'll go ahead and lubricate it. But anyway, guys, I hope this uh, little video was just fun for you to watch. It was just something I thought on the fly that maybe people would like to see. And uh, there'll be more car videos coming up. If you have not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. There's a little uh, bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you click that, it will um, get you set up so that you can get emailed every time I upload one of our soap tests or one of our 
other mini car detailing equipment and chemical tests. So guys, thank you. And I will see you on the next video.